Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Today, we have some exciting news for all Fedora fans out there. After several delays, the Fedora project has finally released Fedora Linux 39, the latest stable version of this Red Hat-sponsored Linux distribution. First up, let's talk about the desktop environments that Fedora Linux 39 brings to the table. Fedora is known for offering a variety of flavors, and this release is no different. It includes some of the latest and greatest desktop environments. For the Fedora Workstation Flagship Edition, you'll find GNOME 45, which brings a host of improvements and features to enhance your desktop experience. If you're a fan of KDE Plasma, the KDE Plasma Edition comes with version 5.27 LTS, offering stability and usability. Cinnamon enthusiasts can enjoy version 5.8, and Budgie fans can indulge in the latest 10.8 version. Now let's talk about the heart of Fedora, the Linux kernel. Fedora Linux 39 is powered by the Linux kernel 6.5, which is packed with various enhancements and improvements to ensure a smooth and efficient operation of your system. Having an up-to-date kernel is essential for security and compatibility with the latest hardware and software. Fedora Linux 39 also comes with an updated GNU toolchain, including GCC 13.2, GNU Binitils 2.40, GNU C Library, Glibby C, 2.38, and GDB, GNU Debugger, 13.2. These tools are indispensable for software development and offer the latest features and optimizations. So, whether you're a developer or just a power user, Fedora Linux 39 provides you with the tools you need to get the job done efficiently. Let's not forget about the software you use every day. Fedora Linux 39 comes with updated default applications to keep you productive and entertained. You'll find the latest LibreOffice, 7.6 Office Suite series for all your document needs, and Mozilla Firefox 1119 as your default web browser for a secure and fast internet browsing experience. Now, here's where we have a bit of a surprise. While we expected an updated DNF5 package manager, Fedora Linux 39 doesn't include it. The package management system remains the same as in previous releases, but fear not, updates often come in subsequent releases. For those who don't know, DNF is the package manager responsible for installing, updating, and managing software on Fedora. It's widely used and helps keep your system up to date. Another change that was eagerly anticipated was the updated Anaconda installer, promising a refreshed user interface and new features. Unfortunately, Fedora Linux 39 doesn't ship with this update. We might have to wait for the next release for this improvement. Anaconda is the installer used during the Fedora installation process, and an improved UI can make the installation process more user-friendly. But Fedora Linux 39 has a lot more to offer. For example, it introduces less expensive GP3 storage volumes for the Fedora Cloud images on Amazon Web Services, making it more affordable for AWS users. Gamers also have something to look forward to with the latest Mesa 23.2.1 graphics stack, enhancing gaming performance and compatibility. And for the command line enthusiasts, Fedora Linux 39 features a colored bash prompt by default, adding a touch of style to your terminal. Additionally, Noto fonts are included, ensuring excellent font support for languages that use the index script, making Fedora more accessible to a wider range of users. Last but not least, the release brings new artwork, including fresh default wallpapers, offering a visually appealing experience. Now, with Fedora Linux 39, you have a wide array of official editions to choose from, each tailored to specific use cases and preferences. These editions include Workstation, Server, IoT, Cloud, CoreOS, Silverblue, Kinwhite, Siricia, and various desktop environments like KDE Plasma, XFC, Budgie, Cinnamon, LXQT, LXDE, Mate, and more. With this diverse selection, you can pick the one that suits your needs best. In summary, Fedora Linux 39 is an exciting release that brings the latest desktop environments, an updated Linux kernel, a refreshed GNU toolchain, and updated default applications. While we didn't get the expected DNF5 package manager and updated Anaconda installer in this release, there's still a lot to look forward to. Whether you're a developer, a gamer, or a general user, Fedora Linux 39 has something for everyone. 
You can download it now from the official website and explore the diverse official editions to find the one that fits your requirements. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.